Hey, it's Steve. Welcome back to Clear Direct short form version. This is the Boot Cow Part 1. Let's get into it. I'm going to mix up, mix up some Pro Seal and put a little bead between each of the seams since you don't want any of those fumes to get inside of the cockpit. So we're going to seal that off. Nice. I spent the 25 bucks to get this shipped to me close quarters wedge and I'm about to give it a shot. Yeah! Stoidus Toiga. Firewall is a little bit warped, but it's thin stainless steel. It'll, it'll submit, it'll comply. I kind of tweaked my back again, so I brought parts indoors. I can sit down a little bit more comfortable. Here's what the back side looks like. Those are for the brakes, that lever action. I figure I'm doing all this work on the nose, why not turn the airplane around? Hey, Priya Grill, why do you have an airplane in your parking lot? Got quite a few looks from all the people driving around. <laughs> the thing with this wide angle lens is it shows a lot more of my mess, but I'm making progress, so it's my process. Sorry, guys. Aluminum dust is bad. Potential Alzheimer's cause. Probably have ear protection too. Oh, 71. We could wait. We could live dangerously. What do you think, Kobe? Dangerously? Let's do it. Dude, I literally just remembered I've got a heater right there. It'll be perfect. Let's throw that bad boy on. I contacted Rands to see how how they'd be about me returning certain items from the firewall forward kit um, to get a UL power engine. Okay, I really want one of those. It's lighter weight, six cylinders, it's smooth, it's modern technology, you've got a throttle, no mixture, fade act kind of thing. But I'm starting to get off the reservation and as a first time builder as well as the fact that Rams doesn't really, they do take returns, but there's a 15% restocking fee. And I'm summarizing email to me of, you won't be satisfied with Rams's um, price that they give you for the restocking things. I don't know if that was because of the restocking fee or in addition to the restocking fee. So in my mind, it just makes sense to stick with Titan and wait it out. So I am going forward with the Titan. All right, turned out really nice. Came back from another trip, got my battery, we got power, so let's work on the battery box. So this grounds to the, the cage, all the way through the bottom skin. Four gauge ground cable here, and then it'll connect to the battery right, right there. All right, that went pretty well. All right, I've got the rudder pedals assembly ready to go, parts sourced. These are the big guys, CCPQ62s. Check. What time is it? It is boot cow 30. Getting everything centered is pretty critical on this because the overlap or the edge distance or the overlap distance is not huge. So I'm just taking my time. Now I'm moving on to the boot cow stiffener. 685, giddy up. Sketched out where these stiffeners will end and also numbered them because they're, well, there's two that are same, number one and four for me on the outside, they're 21 and a half. And then number two is 17 and three quarters, number three is 16 and five eighths. So let's cut those, get them going.
Okay, done with this step. That was pretty good. Okay, the drill press made, quick work out of that. So you notice they don't look perfectly aligned with the metal, but they are aligned tab to tab. So they'll look a little bit more correct on the belly of the fuselage. But, all right, time to get them re code in there and then we'll just final size slash match drill. Well, it's going pretty well, but I did realize that there's a hole right underneath this tab, if you can see it underneath there. Uh, but that's not a problem because when I remove everything, I'll just click go that right in, match drill it when it's on the table. So no big deal. We're putting back in the floorboard because the flange is on the skin stiffeners and the flange on the floorboard will interact. So we got to take off the flange of the floorboard in those places. Although it's sitting pretty nice. I'm not sure where. Yeah, trimming the floorboard doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. So I'm pretty sure it was like an old part that they've they've fixed or they've altered and they just haven't updated the instructions yet. What's that? Rudder pedals. Okay, the moment has arrived. Fitting up of the boot cowl side skins. There's one hole, size 40, but it matches the size 40 right here. Uh, that we are gonna hang it and align everything. And this is kind of what I've been dreading because it is so critical because the minimum edge distance is um, kind of sketchy. So on the bottom side. So let's just see how it just kind of fits. I can see what they're talking about. Let me show you. Okay, hopefully I have enough slack to pull this over and get minimum edge distance with this line of holes. So that's the critical thing that has been a mystery to me. And then it also says to uh, ensure the notch with the, is aligned with the la launcher on. That looks pretty good. Just looking at it for the first time. Important alignment with launcher on is critical. And Josh does a, such a good job on Project 2 Era. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but when he had his boot cowl mess up, which is part of why I'm kind of intimidated about this because if he messed it up, I have 200% possibility of messing it up. But he said his firewall shifted. I don't think it would shift with all these clickers in, but just to be sure, I'm going to bolt it down much like he has bolted his down, just to make sure that there is no chance of it shifting. All right, firewall on. That was some muscling. It is just to keep the firewall and everything in place while we work on the boot cowl, clearly. But one thing I was noticing is there's an odd number of washers. That's because this guy does not get a washer because it looks like there's gonna be a ground strap that takes the place of a washer right there. Okay, it is the next day and I've started the actual match drilling. It is time for the skin stiffeners to go on it. And I made the fatal error of measuring once, so I'm having to cut twice. Good news is that I had an extra piece of stiffener. So this was left over. I checked the inventory and there's only supposed to be eight. So this is number nine. Your results may vary, but 13 inches for this top stiffener and then 18 and three quarters. I just went 17 and three quarters, but that's not good enough. So that's where I went wrong. Oops, but uh, so far so good. I'm not gonna video much today because it's a lot of just match drilling and positioning stiffeners, which you saw me do on the bottom. And I don't think I'll get to it today, which means I won't get to it in the next few days. See, I gotta wake up at uh, 3.45 a.m., drive to Portland to start a trip, going to Kona, San Diego, Cancun, back to Portland over four days. So a fun little trip, warm up a little bit, and uh, but I'm just gonna put the camera down, continuing on. <laughs> Avoiding work, can you tell? <laughs> Man, this is going pretty darn well. I'm really, really happy. Let me show you, uh, give an update and wrap it up. I've started working on the front edge of this boot cowling. I've got the spacer strips in there, both top and bottom. But then I started working on using a 40 size drill and clamping as I go. 
using these clamps to really keep it squeezy tight. While not a good place to leave any project or video, I'm gonna leave it here because I am, like I mentioned, going away for a few days. We'll pick back up, finish off the cowling, and maybe install some rudder pedals and get going on some of the interior so that I can get to what I'm really looking forward to doing, which is locating all of the LRUs, all the avionics, so then I can start on the, the wiring harness. We're also gonna get to the wing tip position lights and put some connectors on those and get those installed. So super excited about the next phase of the build. Thanks for joining me as always. Till next time, you guys are clear to rest.